microphone. Tripod for desktop use. The old iPad or iPhone with a shoulder pod connection. And it's all small bits that can be put together. I'm off to the races to the military gathering at the Infantry Museum. I'm going to try out my optional various function setup here with a microphone that I got for the camera phones, a shoulder pod, a mini tripod. I feel like freaking James Bond. Uh, two cell phones for actual use one for work, one for home personal stuff a spare cell phone which I'm using to record shoulder pod with strap for wrist the amperage microphone for cell phones A partridge in a pear tree, as well as any other little things. Another, to my, another parts of my gadgets are the Android Samsung Galaxy S5, regular edition. I don't think there's any other edition. Um, smartwatch that goes with it, or that I have with it that out like this. It's the LG LG something or other. It's a very new most recent version of uh, Google. God, my brain's fried right now. The iPhone for work is a 5S. So yeah, I mean I'm almost all gadgeted out. Oh wait, and I have a Fitbit. So, yeah. But I'm not really a gadget freak. It just seems like it. I've had this song in my head all day long, on and off. And yes, my phone that I'm using for this is on a mount. It does bounce around though, so. In three quarters of a mile, turn and that's left on the Fourth Street. Waze GPS thing. I've only got it open, so if there's an accident or something, it let me know. Otherwise, I know the route backwards and forwards. The pride and joy, the infantryman. I'll try and pause it there so you can read all this. All sorts of different things to look at here at the Infantry Museum. One of my favorites is an Iraqi Fahadin helmet. I'm probably butchering that, but it looks very much like Darth Vader's helmet, on the top at least. Which came first? Chicken or the egg? There's some stuff on this wall, on this window, that you can't see. One of the quotes is Omar Bradley. Bravery is the capacity to perform properly, even when scared half to death. Another one from Abe Lincoln. Any nation that does not honor its heroes 
would not long endure. General Norman Schwarzkopf, it doesn't take a hero to order men into battle. It takes a hero to be one of those men who goes into battle. That's a really good one. Each gallery here at the Infantry Museum has someone who has been um, modeled and turned into a mannequin. So each one of these mannequins was actually based on a person and are dressed in appropriate era uh, attire. I'm still trying to work on my brain, not working. I have no idea what he's grinning at. If I was in glass all day, I would not be so happy. The Infantry Museum is a great place to spend two hours or four hours. I would not try to do all of these exhibits in any time less than that. And they have combat simulators, which are pretty cool. At one point, the designers had talked about doing one that involved jumping out of a plane and it would use bursts of air to simulate the free fall. The lighting in this hallway is so, so very dark, so apologies on the photos and the video, but anyway, it's talking about the modern bayonet and how all these changes, sorry for the shakiness, but what disturbs me is, and what I've been told by somebody who used to use these, these kind of bayonets, is that this statement later the modern hand grenade was added to the inventory of close quarter weapons. From what I was told, you don't want to be anywhere near a hand grenade because it'll take you out and anything else around you. And shrapnel, if there's any, it'll shred you to pieces. The person that told me that rarely ever used his unless it was absolutely necessary. Thank you.